Hey, what's going on here, guys? It's Brian, channel owner of A Dude Bud Guy, and I'm out with a new video here, um, kind of an updated video on how to make your own MIDI file for Synthesia. Uh, a lot of backlash on this video uh, due to the quality and it being outdated. I know the clicking is very annoying, and uh, nine minutes, I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. So it's really not that difficult. So uh, let's get ahead and jump right into it. So you're going to want to be doing this if you have a sheet music, but you can't find the tutorial. Uh, and you do not know how to read sheet music. So this will be a way for you to actually um, create a visual tutorial for you to learn that song, and then you can do whatever you want with that tutorial afterwards, uh, as it'll be unique of its kind. There will be no other tutorial like that, right? Uh, so in this case, I'm going to be doing OLOL oh well, oh well by Mayday Parade. Uh, there is no uh, Synthesia tutorial out there, so um, uh, this will be uh, a really good one to do, right? So uh, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want our two softwares, which I'll put in the description. You want a Finale, finale Notepad 2012 and uh, we can't use Synthesia because it costs money now so uh, the free program I'm using is called Piano from Above which works just as well so we're gonna jump into Finale Notepad I obviously already have mine my, my first page uh, open here uh, yours will not look that like this so we're gonna go to new oh shoot oh shoot I want to go to new and then you'll have this it'll be blank behind and you'll just have this so in this case I'm gonna be doing oh well Mayday Parade, Landscape, por uh, Portrait's the same, same with page size. Next, uh, we're going to be adding our sound effects. So in this case, we're going to be doing the keyboards, and we're going to be doing our piano, but there's tons of other instruments if you want to mess around with other type of uh, instruments, right? So we're going to add, then we're going to click Next. This is very important. You want to bring your uh, sheet music up for this. So we're going to be looking at our time signature, which is always bef uh, at the beginning of your bars. Uh, so we're going to be doing 4-4 four, four time, and then the key signature, which in this case we have 1, 2, 3, 5 sharps. So up for sharps, 2, 3, 4, oh, 4, 5. And then here is a measure. So you want to increase the measures, because one measure is like from here to here. So 30 measures is like one page. So I'm going to just make it 1,000. It won't drag the video on, um, or the it won't drag the keys any longer or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. So just click finish. And now you have your blank document, which looks almost identical, right? So you want to make sure that uh, it has a uh, kind of like a tempo. If not, you kind of want to guess it, right? So in this case, it has one, thankfully. So we're going to change this to 80 right off the hop. And then we're just going to go ahead and begin typing in every single note that is on here. But you want to obviously pay very close attention and you want to be playing it along as you go. So that way you're not going back and trying to make all fix all of your mistakes right so in this case right off the beginning we have uh, our kind of uh, bass notes which are played on the treble so what I just did was I just you can do these two different ways is you can either type them in on the like actual bass the treble bar if you want so this is the first note right so what you can do if you want to is you can either do that in in some scenarios because some songs will have that or I can actually now take this note and drag it to my bass note, bass line here. And it now actually puts them where they are corresponding on the keyboard. So if I delete this now and I play it again, it'll be the exact same note, right? So that's just what I did to kind of get around not messing around with the settings and the key signature and trying to figure out how to add another treble just for essentially one page, right? So it's too much work. So essentially, I'm gonna. You'll have something that looks like this. So we'll go ahead and open my document. For oh well, and here it is, right? Uh, so my first bars are rested out. So I just completely rested them out, and then I just put mine on the treble bar, right? So um, I copied down the entire first page here, and then I uh, this is what it. This is where it ended, right? So um, once you copy down your entire song, this is six pages, so it's going to be a lot longer than just this. Uh, but um, once you complete the entire song and you have copied everything over, you'll be ready to transfer it into a MIDI file, right? Uh, so then we're going to want to file, we're going to want to save as, we're going to want to save it as a MIDI file. It'll be the only other option there, right? Uh, so I just saved it to my desktop, so that way it is very easy to find. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a folder on on my desktop called MIDI's, MIDI's and I'm going to just add everything to there automatically, right? So I'm going to save that, and now I'm ready for to see what it actually looks like, right? So now we're going to want to bring up Piano from Above. It'll come up with this weird like thing, but I just click on the first one, double click on it, and then I stop, right? 
So now what you want to do is you want to drag or well, full screen, full screen. And then you can right click down here and you can actually add that MIDI folder that I was saying to your desktop. But in this case, we're just going to add a file. So I just added my file desktop. It'll be right there. Oh, well, perfect. So now it already added it to the list up here. So I'm going to let's look how it sees, right? that's all we have right now so i'll continue on with that until i have the entire song done and then i'll uh just record it with obs or something and post it right so look forward to that uh but um essentially that is how to create a midi file very very simple it is very time consuming as yes you're essentially copying every single note from your sheet music over to finale notepad however you will have a visual tutorial that is very unique that no one else will have right and you can choose what to do with that so um if you guys have any requests for me to do um it, it's a lot helpful if you guys have the sheet music and there's no tutorial and you guys just want to send me the sheet music saying hey can I request a song and I'll, I want to try to make as much as these as I can and start getting this kind of going on my channel again. Right. So, um, yeah, if you have any requests, just uh, send them my way. Uh, if you guys have any type of uh, complications or issues that you guys are having or um, any type of uh, shortcuts you're looking for, uh, post them in the description. Uh, if you guys like this contact, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.